Good evening and welcome to the Academy of Health Professions at the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. In the next few minutes I will give you an overview of the program, the Academy of Health Professions, and let you know what the students accomplish at the end of our program and the opportunities that they have here. The Academy of Health Professions at the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center is a three-year program. The first year is an introduction to health professions an introduction to medical terminology, anatomy, and physiology, and some basics that students will need to know to enter the health professions. The second year, Ms. Howell is our teacher, and she teaches Bio 1040 from the College of Southern Maryland with the opportunity to earn anatomy and physiology credits. After the Bio 1040 course, the students have an opportunity to apply for summer internships at the local MedStar St. Mary's Hospital, and then they begin year three. In year three, we teach certified nursing assistant, and they also have opportunities for pharmacy tech, personal trainer, for the physical therapy interested students, phlebotomy, EKG tech, veterinarian tech hours and other areas of interest that the students have um, decided that they would like to explore. The prerequisites to enter our program are a C or better in science and math, good GPA, good attendance, and your visit, which you are accomplishing right now. There are uniform requirements for our program. We allow the students to choose a smock for their first year, a Navy smock with their name for the third year of the program, and they must have white pants, white closed-toed shoes, and a watch with a second hand. Optional things are the college credits and a stethoscope. We have lots of opportunities for clinical site visits, labs, and hands-on experience. As you can see from the lab behind me. We have um, lots of patient experiences that we do in our lab and then we also have dissections. We um, are able to go to the local facilities and have clinical experiences and so a lot of our um, opportunities are hands-on learning after the initial learning of some of the basic skills. We also do CPR and first aid certification in year one with the National Safety Council and in year three or year two with the American Heart Association. We have lots of guest speakers come in from different areas of student interest. As you can see, these are some pictures from our um, surgical team at MedStar St. Mary's Hospital who comes and shares their knowledge with us, as well as some personal trainers and physical therapists and other um, field trip opportunities that we have where we go visit the um, state trooper where the paramedics give them some information about their experiences. We visit local facilities like Cedar Lane and the nursing centers and also attend um, open heart surgery at Inova Fairfax. We have a student organization here called Skills USA, which allows the students to develop leadership skills and participate in fundraising and social activities, as well as compete in their areas of health professions. And we have had several regional, state, and national winners in this competition. We then in year three, work on the certified nursing assistant license that is through the Maryland Board of Nursing. They complete all their competencies, clinical lab hours, and demonstrate the abilities to perform their duties to earn the certification. But there are other opportunities for students, including pharmacy tech and personal trainer programs, which do have a cost of about four to five hundred dollars, and they use computer-based programming, and then we set them up with clinical experiences as well. Um, um, other things they can work on are a senior project with a mentor in the area of their interest. They can go to veterinarian offices for experience, phlebotomy and EKG certifications, physical therapy hours, other physical um, or physician's offices and clinics. They complete a senior portfolio and then of course have employment opportunities and internships. If not selected for this program, um, other opportunities include taking the ANP elective, which Ms. Howell is doing a presentation on that you can visit um, tonight. And you can also apply for our two-year program where the students can earn a certified medical assistance. So this is the beginning 
of um, your exploration of our programs and health professions, but the end of my presentation. So be sure to visit our question and answer period next so that you can ask any questions that you have and learn some more information. Thank you for your attention and hopefully I'll see you in the Academy of Health Professions.